so many funny comments or responses you've been sending. Ah, Dorothy Mano Agbo. Hmm. You said the craziest thing you've done for love is reduce the meat meant for the house and give in to your boyfriend. Ah, Dorothy. Wasn't that some kind of stealing? I don't know. Was that? See, love can make us do crazy things. Gola Ebong, hello, patients. The craziest thing I've ever done for love, jumping the school fence just to go get a vows gift for my girlfriend back then in school and was sent out of class for a whole week, followed with punishment. Ebong, oh my gosh, that's so much love. The things you do when you're younger, right? Jumping the fence for love. Ah. Anyway, Brees, he says, my mother, hmm, Brees, I'll read it anyway. I'm just seeing it right now. My mother gave birth to me prematurely just because I was in a hurry to come and marry patients. And Bella, this flattery early in the morning like this, Bryce, good morning to you. Wise Benny says, I really can't remember. It looks like I have done nothing crazy for love. How strange. I am tempted to ask our guest, Reverend Amos, and his wife, Emanuela, what crazy things they have done for each other. Please come right in. You're welcome to Cameron Feeling. Thank you very much. Oh, see, see, he's holding her hand like I can't move. She has to be close to me. Have Thank a seat. Thank you very much, patient. All righty. So, I see. I want to introduce you, but first, I want my, the answer to my question of the day. What crazy thing did you do for her, for love? Um, I will ask her, is, you're the only one who will say the crazy thing you did for love. What can I say? Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, just loving her. Is crazy? Just loving her. Too much. Too much. Yeah. When something becomes too much, it becomes crazy. Crazy, right? Yeah. So huh. that is what is happening. Is this true? Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome to Cameron Feeling. Thank you very Reverend much. Reverend Amos Ben Ben Kebe. Yeah. Okay, and Kebe Emanuela B. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, you're both certified trainers in marriage and family counseling. Yes. That is amazing. And part of the Dominion Singles and Married Academy founders. Yes, mm. yes. Wow. All right, so let's start off with uh, the Academy. Tell us a little bit about it. Actually, in Dominion Singles and Married Academy, we seek to uh, build healthy homes. Yeah. Our mission is to reduce as much as possible domestic violence. Mm -hmm. uh, you remember domestic violence manifests itself not only physical. Mm -hmm. There are other forms of domestic violence, and uh, it appears as if everybody is a victim of domestic violence in one way or other. Okay. Your husband, your wife may not beat you, may not raise a hand against you, but definitely they can say a well, word that is not good. Mm. So what we are doing is that we are trying to reduce as much as possible through the information we put across. And we wishing that one day uh, Cameroon and the world beyond we will have peace at home. Yes. And when we have peace at home, we will have peace in the society, yeah. we will have peace in the government. Mm -hmm. So I'm tempted to also say the best way of to come, the best way that Cameroon can uh, get peace is through investing in families. Mm. That's what we are thinking. So a lot has happened in Dominion Singles and Married Academy. I can say it's an answer to CITA problems. Yes. And we've been there since 2017. And I'm telling you, the results are just amazing. Let's talk about some of these couples who've been a part of this academy. Yeah. What is like the predominant issue that keeps coming up as a problem in the household? Uh, one of the things that we, we see that occurs regularly is the absence of communication, effective communication. Once a couple is able to communicate with each other, mm -hmm. it solves a lot of problems. Yeah. Uh, somebody said, uh, communication is to relationship, is to marriage, like blood, is to life. Yes. So when somebody's blood is getting down, it's a cause for concern. So when communication is getting down between a couple, between those who are in a relationship, it becomes a cause for concern. Mm -hmm. Something needs to be done so Absolutely. that the blood can come up, so that the communication level can stabilize. And once that is done, any other thing can be handled. So if a, if a couple can communicate well, they can solve any problem mm -hmm. that comes their way. Now, Emmanuel, I want you to speak. I'm sure you interacted with many women who have come as part of the academy. Personally, from the woman's perspective, what are the difficulties women have in relating to their husbands? Uh, the 
difficulties that women have in relationship to their husband or in related to their husband, I think uh, we have difference too in temperaments, yeah. you know, their personality differences. Oh, uh, you know, when you don't, especially when they get into marriage without premarital counseling. Counseling, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, like uh, the Bible says, you know, my people perish for lack of knowledge. You know, without the knowledge about your temperament, you're bound to be a kind of disgrace to the marriage institution. So differences in temperament bring a whole lot of problems because most of these women, when they come in, we just discover that temperament. When temperament, you talk about temperaments, what, what, what do you highlight? It has to do with your personality, your mm -hmm. character. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your personality type. What are you like? For example, you have uh, you have the introvert and the extrovert. Mm -hmm. With uh, the extrovert, you have the sanguine and the choleric. Yeah. And with sanguines, you know, sanguines are popular people. I, for one, am a sanguine. Okay. You know, with the choleric, they are powerful people. You yeah. know, most leaders, people who uh, who always want to rule are mm -hmm. cholerics. Yeah, you have the introvert, which is uh, the melancholic. melancholic and the phlegmatic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and. With the melancholic, you know, they are perfectionists. Mm -hmm. And with the phlegmatics, they are kind of peaceful. They are peaceful people. So, you know, just imagine a marriage between an introvert and, a, and an extrovert, mm -hmm. and they don't have the balance. The, yeah, yeah. And they don't even have the, the information. Knowledge. They don't really know True. their personality. They don't know their temperament. There's bound to be a lot of problems. So, why is premarital counseling important for the people who are planning to get married and have not yet done that? Why should they? Oh, you know, uh, they really need to get informed. We have a, a slogan in DSMA that goes thus, what you don't know is bigger than you. You know, marriage is an institution they're entering into that is kind of, if you don't know, you don't get information about it. You know, you will definitely meet something in there that will be bigger than you, and there's bound to be problems. Let's get a bit specific. What is yeah. like one thing you highlight during premarital counseling that is okay. extremely important? Okay, for example, compatibility. Yeah, when you get to do premarital counseling, you get to know whether you're compatible, especially, for example, medical wise, medically. Yeah. Okay, because you get to do the prenuptial test. Yes, and there, for example, a test like electrophoresis that tests it to your genotype. Mm -hmm. If you don't get to know that and you are an AS, getting married to an AS, yes. you know, you're bound to have a problem in future because you bring four children that will suffer. So if you have a couple loving each other and they come to you and they are both AS, AS, you tell them not to be together? We tell them, we give them the disadvantages. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, what they will meet in there and advise, let them judge for themselves. They have to really, but if we have to, AS and AS will bring for children that will suffer. So you if give they're them going the into, yeah, we give them yeah. information and let them decide. I love that because yeah. some people are afraid to go to counselors because they feel like maybe counselors decide for them. No, we don't the idea decide. Is we you just give, give the, the information, information and you choose. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's happening on Saturday? Uh, we are going to be having a graduation ceremony. We call it a commencement ceremony mm -hmm. where 122 students will be graduating. Yes. And they've been there for some of them close to three years just to study how to marry and be okay. Close and to how three to, years? Of yeah. course. Wow. Before you became a journalist, you spent yes. three years in a... In, as couples in a, in a, or as singles? Uh, you, no, Both. as singles. You begin, Both. yeah, whether you are a single school, person single or a married, married. person, oh, you are bound to take the knowledge on marriage. Yes. Because you one day or the other have to say something or have to help another person. So it's not just about you, but yes. about the people around. But definitely everybody needs to have that information. So on Saturday, we'll be having a graduation ceremony and um, uh, students will come all over. We got students who are coming from Nigeria, nice. and others are coming from Mendalimbe, mm -hmm. Boya, everywhere. And it will be an awesome program on Saturday. And we are going to be releasing out 23, 22 certified marriage, Cameroon certified marriage and relationship counselors. Mm -hmm. And we are going wow. to also graduate 99 uh, students that we believe they are 
ready to build healthy homes. It's going to be an amazing program. The program will take place at the Queensway International College at 12 noon. By 12 noon, everybody is expected to be there and we'll start the program. There will be, uh, we have an invited guests mm -hmm. and we're using this opportunity to invite as many people as possible. Sure. Let them come there and be part of the program. One thing is definitely sure, oh. we will need a marriage counselor. Absolutely. Whether we like it yes. or not. Mm -hmm. And definitely, we don't even need to have a marriage problem before we meet a marriage counselor. Yes. You have to. It's, it's like an answer in this generation where people don't even know their left and their right True. when it comes to uh, marriage. You see a lot of people out there, they are okay, they are doing fine, academically sound, mm -hmm. but emotionally very poor. Yes. So we need that we should come and hear the testimonies, what God has done. What is, uh, that's our job, <laughs> training people and building healthy homes. Thank you. You, Thank you it begins much. from your home, yeah. and we can see the health yeah. and the love yeah. in yeah. it. We, 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 and we believe every word you say. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank um, you we have a gentleman over there that maybe might have some questions on relationships, but that would be after his sports check. Let's have the jingle. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we don't. All right. Hi, Double W. Hey. How my, are you doing? My queen from Bukwago. Yes. <laughs> if you have one question on marriage, what would you ask our counselors? Here? What would I ask our counselors? Just one small question. What should I need to do mm -hmm. for my wife to love me? Yeah. <laughs> for your wife to love you. Yes. <laughs> what do you want? What do you have to do? Yeah. For your wife to love you. To love me. <laughs> I, I, I will talk on one thing. Just be present. All right. Mm. Just be present. With this kind of job that I do every day. Your, your present has nothing to do with your job. All right. You can still be here, but still present. Okay. You can just text, I love you, baby. Ooh. All right. You're not talking. Give me that phone. I'll, I'll start texting for you right now. <laughs> Jingle sports check. We're coming. <laughs>